Yosemite National Park officials say the wildfire burning in the park was human caused. More fire crews are arriving to battle the so-called Washburn fire that started last Thursday. That blaze is threatening historic landmarks and the world's oldest trees. It's burned just over 3,200 acres and is 22% contained. In our team coverage, Chief Meteorologist Lauren Wallace has a look at the weather conditions. But we begin with CBS 47's Medeiros Fab, who's live in Mariposa County. And Medeiros, what's the strategy moving forward? Behind me, you can see where the fire is. Now, the fire has moved to the Sierra National Forest, and crews are using all tools in their toolbox to fight this blaze, including a new 10,000-gallon well. As crews head into battle for the sixth day against the Washburn fire, during a community meeting, Yosemite National Park's superintendent shed light on what sparked the fire. There was no lightning on that day, so it's a human start fire and it's under investigation. That's all, that's all I can really say about that right now. We're looking at that real, real hard. Typically, the Wawona golf course filled with golfers as they step to the tee. The spot in the history books as the first regulated course in the Sierra Nevada. But with the Washburn fire creeping up on the community, the National Park Service using the course to house a 10,000 gallon heli well. The location is strategic so we can have the water as close as possible to the fire. The well, about half the size of an average swimming pool, pulls recycled groundwater from the park for helicopters to use for drops. Fire management spokesperson Robbie Johnson calls the resource vital as crews battle the inferno. Well, we'll definitely have a faster turnaround time to getting to the fire, and that's always an advantage. Our ground crews are working so hard, so the more resources we can get to them more quickly to assist them will definitely make an improvement in our response. The weather in dry conditions on the Washburn fire side, with most of the fuel dead trees killed by bark beetle. It is just so dry out there and we have to keep that in mind as we battle this. But this is a full suppression fire. We have multiple agencies, an aggressive initial attack. So we are taking this fire and going after as hard as we can. The road where I'm standing is still closed to the public, including that southern entrance into the park off of 41. The next closest entrance is off of Highway 140. We have a map on our website, JourCentralValley.com, that shows all of the entrances, and we'll be covering this story as more develops. Reporting now live near Yosemite National Park, Madeira's Bab, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.